action. All right, y'all. So now we got everything. Uh, we got the hat. We got everything good. Since you waited, we're gonna start adding uh like pictures or like logos to the clothing. If you got your own clothing brand, see this is where it helps. Like Blender, if you like, you can market yourself through Blender. So if you got your own clothing brand, you got a logo, man, you can model up a shirt real quick, put your shit on, and then boom. So I'm gonna show you how to do that for right now. Uh, we gonna do. I made this logo. It's a king crown logo. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put this logo in the middle of the shirt. So what we're going to do, make sure you go to this green triangle, right? And uh, all right, you with this green triangle, go to UV maps, hit that plus button. Double click that and type type whatever logo you got. Or just be like, see, mine is a king logo. So I'm going to say king, low, go, boom. All right. So now you got that. Now you want to go click the shading tab. All right, so it's gonna get these squares. Right here, I got the files where I got my picture. So if you wanna use the same logo, I'm gonna put that link in the description. That way you can download it in the, um, in the, um, in the, um, in the link. You feel me, you can download it, you can have it on your own, or like I said, just come up with your own logo, who cares? But um, yeah, for sure. We got the King logo already in here with my pictures. Okay, I'm gonna delete this right quick because I already did it but I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, so first, what you wanna do is you wanna add an image texture. So hit Shift A, or if you can find it in here, I'm gonna find it in here, boom, I found it. You can drag this right here, boom. You ain't gotta do all that. So now, we gonna add a mix, a mix uh, color, RGB, whatever you wanna call it. You are gonna hit Shift A, and then you are gonna go to color, and you are gonna go to mix color, boom, all right? All right, so now first you want to grab the same color of the shirt and put it on top and A right there. Make sure you connect this. All right, then next you want to grab your color image texture right here and put it in here. Boom, you got that. Hold on, just a sec. Uh, and the alpha, you want to go ahead and drag it into the factor. Boom. All right, so boom. So now you see images on the um, shirt. So hold on just a sec. We're going to change that. We're going to uh, just make one. We're going to have one. So what you want to do is you want to hit tab. You want to hit A. And you want to hit U. And do project, project from view. And now if you see it over here, you hit A. You can just move that. Move to the side. All right, right? So now... We have to add the UV map. So if you hit Shift A, go to UV map, boom. You drag that UV in the vector. You click that. You remember the King logo thing we made in the UV section? Make sure that's on there. And now what you want to do is that you want to go ahead and deselect everything and so hit C so you can select the faces you want the logo to show on. So I'm going to just do a rough little thing right here and shoot it. I might not even use all this space, but hey, who cares, right? Uh, all right, so you hit U, right? Hit U, unwrap, and then project from view. Boom. Now, all you have to do, oh yeah, before you do that, hit, when you see this drop down right here where it says repeat, make sure you click that, hit clip. That way it only shows one. Unless you want it to repeat all around the shirt, it's on you. So we just gonna scale this up in the UV section. Boom. If you don't know how to get to this section, all you do is just drop this down, go to UV editor, boom, and you there. All right, so now I got the King logo showing, right? Say I want it smaller. I want it like in the middle, right? We're gonna have it in the middle. All right, like, we gonna bring it down some, so. saying you got that now if you want to like tweak it a little bit like brighten it up and shit like that so you can um you can add shift a let's see uh let's go to color let's do uh rgb curves let's see what that's gonna do and then we just oh that's do the whole shirt all right so hold off and cut that from there we're gonna do just these 
right there and put it with the color boom all right now if you bring it down it's just affecting the logo so we might want to uh -huh. you feel me like i mean it's up to you but we can leave that alone you can change it around like it depends but i guess we can just leave that alone how it is boom all right delete that so we got that <coughs> Got the logo, we got everything we need. All we have to do. All right, we're gonna go back to layout. We're gonna click this just to see the shirt. All right. So now, <coughs> I'm just checking it out, checking it out, y'all. Everything look good to go. Everything look good to go. Oh, let's do the skin. Um, all right. So click the body. We gonna go back to shading, right? So we are gonna do like some like skin bumps, like make the skin just a little bit look a little bit more real. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit Shift A, right? You wanna uh, I think uh, I'm trying to remember. Search and bump bump map boom and then next you want to do Voronoi oh shit no this shit do search and Voronoi texture hit this Voronoi texture right there boom now you want to come here just drop down do smooth F1 I'll leave that distance into the height and then normal into the normal right all right so it's gonna look like this so what you want to do is hit invert or yeah invert that see this distance do point zero zero two you see Hold on, it's too strong though. Just like the skin, like bumps and stuff. Oh boy, hold on, invert that. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. Oh, uh, dang, hold on, y'all, hold on. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, add a float curve, float curve, right? Put it right here. And just bring it out like that. Yeah, like that. And what else? I'm trying to remember the tutorial he did. He did that. I mean, yeah, you can really, I'm just, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna just keep it like simple because I forgot what he did. But yeah, if you want to add like little textures and bumps to the skin, this is how you'll do it, bro. There's more to it, but this is like, you know what I'm saying? Just like the basic of that tutorial, but I can't remember, but you know what I'm saying? So, hey, fuck it, bro. We in there. All right, so we got, I guess, the skin ready. We can add, uh, I want to go to subsurface color and I want to boost that up. Well, subsurface do 0 0.05. All right, boom. You know what I'm saying? That way he got a little flesh coming to the skin, bro. 
I mean, plus it's like a stylized cartoon. You don't want it really too, too realistic. You know what I'm saying? After all, after all it is a cartoon, so. But it, like, you know what I'm saying? Just to bring to life a little bit, you feel me? Expression, make expression. You see, you got a smile if you want. Oh, no, I ain't even do the smiling. He <laughs> ain't that, you know what I'm saying? You got the evil laugh. You feel me? Like, I'm gonna teach y'all that in another video. Hold on, I just wanna see something. Right, let me leave, let me leave that alone right because i'm getting too ahead of myself all right boom all right so we got that all right we got this we got the face we got the logo now we finna start adding like textures and stuff to it before hold on before this video ends I'm trying to see what else will we have like <coughs> I guess I can just, um, should I leave that right there? I mean, shit, fuck it, bro, leave Uh, what else, what else? Oh, with the body, too, hold on. So get out of this. With the body, you want to scrunch them in to make them, like, to get that chunkiness off, like, a little kid. You feel me? Like, because little kids have that chunkiness. So you want to, like, hit this tool right here. What is this? Elastic deform. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Last it before, hit L to change the circle, and then just pull him. Oh shit! Just pull him in. Just pull him in, man. Like his his arms gotta be small. Like you feel me? Just start adjusting his body. the fingers and stuff. You know I'm saying just make the fingers a little smaller and chunky. Start adding like chunkiness to them. So that's what I'm about to start doing. Just add a little chunkiness to them. Bring that realism. Like, just add the chunkiness. That's what I'm doing right now before this video ends. Add the chunkiness. And then the next video, we're gonna add like texture to the clothing to make well nah we're gonna do lighting first and then we're gonna do textures well i don't know bro it depends like i said let me do this i'm getting too ahead of myself let me do this right quick you know what i'm saying we just added a little detail to the fingers and stuff if you want to you can follow along if not you can skip through this and go to the next video Each video, I at least try to make 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Cause I really want y'all to learn this, bro. I want y'all to learn this. When y'all learn this, bro, trust me, bro. This shit get fun, because it's like no limit, bro. The only limit is you, bro. That's it. <laughs> real, like, real shit. The only limit is you. Just, you know, oh, okay, I mean, I guess that worked out, right? I did that on accident. But yeah, let me go. Saying, just make his fingers a little chunky. And then, if you want to go the opposite way, just hit control. If you want to go negative, do it. Inflate in. I'm going to inflate too, by the way, y'all. Just hold control. That way, you'll do the invert. And you see how it's like coming together though, bro? Coming together. And then hold shift if you want to smooth it. Or you can just go to the smooth brush right there. But yeah, for sure. Bro. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help y'all out, bro. If y'all like a, a, a graphic artist or whatever, or just an artist that trying to get better or do something different, or you feel me? Bro, I'm here to teach y'all, bro. I'm going to help you step up your game. Step up your content and just be different, man. I'm gonna help you stand out for sure. I'm gonna help you stand out, man. One thing about you, one thing about people that I teach, bro, I teach you how to stand out, bro, in a good way. You feel me? So, I teach you how to stand out, bro. 
got to, bro. Everybody doing the same thing these days, bro. Somebody got to stand out. Shit getting too boring, man. So, you know what I'm saying? If you into the 3D, bro, come holla at me. I got you. I'm going to take care of you. And I'm going to teach you some lingo on the way, too. So, hey. So, now you just want to, boom, move these down. Yeah, it's starting to look more like a, a chunky hand. You wanna add a little bit more chunk 80 right here, you know what I'm saying? Some chunky wrist. You know what I'm saying? Scale that down a little bit. You add a little bit. about done with this like this make sure everything smooths same we just round out the fingertips bro yeah if you want your G we're gonna move some of these up Alright, that's cool, bro. Shit. So, in this next video, we're gonna go over textures and stuff like that. Um, I'm also tell you like websites you can get textures from free. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and texture these clothes and, and, and the hat. We're gonna be good to go. We're gonna be good to go. Alright, bro, I'll catch y'all in the next video.